Are you ready for the class? Yes? Yes, Chef. Thank you, Miss Wendy. You're the only one that answered. Thank you. Nice, Miss Tanya. Perfect. So, we're going to start with the class today. If you remember last class or last classes, we study the zero conditional, right? So, today we're going to start with the first. I told you that there are four, right? Type of conditional. Zero, first, second, and the third conditional. So, today we're going to study the first conditional, right? So, let's start, guys. So, we're going to start today with the first conditional, right? So, I want you to pay special attention to this type of conditional. And then, if you have questions or if you have any doubts, just let me know, okay? So, let's start. There you have first conditional, type 1. The other was type 0, right? So, this is type 1, right? So, it says first conditional. Also, none as type 1 conditional. Real present. The first conditional is used to express a real or very probably probable situation in the present or future, right? So, también es mejor conocida como tipo 1, ¿verdad? Y en este caso... La first conditional se la va a utilizar para expresar situaciones reales o que es una situación muy probable que pueda pasar, ¿verdad? En el presente o en el futuro. The first conditional uses the simple present in the if clause and the future in the main clause, right? En el caso de la zero conditional, si se acuerdan ustedes, utilizamos solamente el presente simple. En este caso, vamos a utilizar el presente simple en la if clause. Y luego vamos a utilizar el futuro, will or want, ¿verdad? En the main clause. Let's see some examples later, right? So, if plus present simple comma, don't forget the comma, right, that is necessary, and future simple, right, if plus condition result. Let's look at these sentences. There you have some examples. If we work hard, we will finish the project on time. So, if you notice, we have in the if clause, simple present, right? If the subject, we, work, in simple present, hard, that will be the complement, comma, don't forget the comma, then the main clause or the result, we will finish the project on time. Yes? Entonces, si se fijan en la main clause o en el resultado, están utilizando el futuro will. So, then you have, the condition is, if we work hard. This is an if clause because it begins with if. What is the result of this if clause? The result is, we will finish the project on time, right? So, entonces tenemos que en la clause del if vamos a utilizar presente simple. Luego en la main clause o en el resultado vamos a utilizar el futuro. Utilizando que? Will. Ok? So, also, we have to use a comma at the end of an if clause. When an if clause comes at the beginning of the sentence. Right? So, recuerden que esto es similar a la zero conditional. Cuando comenzamos la oración con la if clause, nosotros siempre vamos a necesitar la coma entre las dos eh, oraciones, ¿verdad? 
pero si sí, nosotros comenzamos al revés con el resultado primero y luego if, ahí sí, no vamos a necesitar coma, ¿verdad? Así que remember that. Then, examples. If I don't feel well tomorrow, coma, I won't go to work. So, if you notice here, you have the if clause. Don't, but that is simple present, but in negative, right? So the complement and comma, I won't go to work. So won't, it is future, but in negative, right? So I won't go to work. Or if the weather is nice tomorrow, we will have a picnic at the park. So there you have first the if clause. In simple present, right? So in this case, um, it is using what? Verb right? But in simple present, then a comma, then the result or the main clause in future. So we will have a pygmy at the park. Or if he doesn't arrive soon, comma. We will live without him. So, the if clause doesn't, that is in simple present but negative, right? So, if he doesn't arrive soon, comma, because we start with the if clause, right? We will live without him. That is the main clause in future, right? So, result plus if plus the condition. We can also change the order of the sentence and have the main clause, the result, before the if clause, the condition. How can we change our example sentence? If it is rains tomorrow, we will stay at home to this order. We can say, we will stay at home if it rains tomorrow. Así como los zero conditional, nosotros podemos también cambiar el orden. Primero podemos tener el resultado o la main clause, luego la if clause, ¿verdad? En este caso no vamos a utilizar coma, porque nos queda en medio de las dos oraciones la palabra if. Entonces así podemos cambiar primero el resultado o la main clause y luego la if clause o the condition, that that is almost the same, right? For example, if you look in the garage, comma, you will find them. Here, in this example, first, you have what? The if clause, right? Then the comma, then you're going to start with the main clause, or the result. So, if we want to change this, First, we have to write down what? The result, right? So, you will find them if you look in the garage. Si se fijan acá, ven, primero escribimos el resultado, luego la if clause, y no necesitamos coma, ok? Then, if you take this medicine, you will feel much better. First, again, right? We start with the if clause. If you take this medicine, comma, you will feel much better. What happens if we want to change or to switch the order of those sentences? First, we can write down what? The result. You will feel better if, right? We don't need comma here, right? So, if you take this medicine, yes? Entonces, ¿qué hicimos en estos dos ejemplos? Recuerden que nosotros podemos intercambiar primero el resultado, luego la F clause o la condición. Y, o incluso la forma tradicional podemos tener primero la if clause, utilizamos coma para separar las dos oraciones y luego vamos a tener el resultado. 
Solamente no se olviden que en la first conditional vamos a tener presente simple en la if clause y en el resultado vamos a tener futuro. Will y si es negativo, won't. Ok, so don't forget that. So, there you have this first condition. Present simple plus future simple. If we were hard, so we have if, right? The word if, then the condition we work hard. Comma, right? Then the result. We will finish the project on time. This is the result, the whole result, right? Entonces tenemos la palabra if, la condición. We work hard. Si nosotros trabajamos duro, coma, porque comenzamos con la if clause, we will finish the project on time. Nosotros podríamos terminar el proyecto a tiempo. ¿Qué es esto? El resultado. ¿Ok? So, the first conditional is used to express a real or a very probable situation in the future. It refers to things that will possibly happen in the future if a condition is met. The first conditional is common when we're talking about possible plans promises, warnings, treats, or persuading someone, ¿ok? Entonces, como les había dicho antes, la first conditional la utilizamos para expresar una realidad o algo o una posible situación que pueda pasar en el futuro, ¿verdad? Eh, también se puede hablar de posibles planes, promesas, en algunos tratos o si ustedes quieren tratar de persuadir a alguien, ¿verdad? Para que realice la acción. Bueno, en este caso, aplique la condicionante, ¿verdad? So, there you have condition and result. Present simple. If I go to Italy next week for work, Coma, the future simple, I'll or I will visit the Coliseum, right? So, tenemos la if clause, presente simple. Y luego en el resultado o la main clause, nosotros vamos a tener futuro. If I have time tomorrow, I will help you, right? So, the condition, the result. What happens if we want to change this? Si nosotros queremos cambiar, por ejemplo, la segunda oración, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Primero el resultado, luego la condición. So, I will help you if I have time tomorrow. Sin necesidad de que de la coma. Si queremos cambiar la número uno, I'll visit the Coliseum if I go to Italy next week for work, right? What about the third one? If you touch that wire, you will get an electrical shock, right? Entonces, si nosotros queremos cambiarla, you will get an electric shock. If you touch that wire. Entonces, si tú tocas ese cable, tú podrías tener un choque eléctrico, ¿verdad? O te agarra la electricidad. Lo cambia, primero el resultado, luego la condición. Entonces, no se olviden. En la if clause tendremos presente simple. Si es negativo, depende del sujeto, ¿verdad? Usted va a utilizar... Don't, o si es tercera persona, el singular, doesn't. Y luego el futuro, will, ¿verdad? Luego el verbo, su forma base, complemento, etc. 
Si fuera negativa, ustedes van a utilizar want, que es la forma negativa del will en futuro, ¿verdad? Entonces, no se olviden de los dos tiempos. Recuerden, la zero conditional solo utiliza presente simple. Presente simple en la if clause, presente simple en la main clause. En este caso, vamos a utilizar presente simple en la if clause y futuro con will, ¿verdad? En the main clause or in the resort. Yes? So, tell me guys, do you have questions? Is it clear for you the use of the first conditional or do you have questions? Thank you, Karen. Perfect. So guys, right now we're going to do the first exercise, right? So, let me share that. Okay, there you have the first example or exercise, right? Put the verb into the correct first conditional form, right? So, let's try to do the number one together. If you remember, in the first or in the if sentence, you are going to use what? Present. Right? And in the main clause or in the result, you're going to use future. Will. Right? So, if we want to do the number one, if I, we're going to use the verb between parentheses. We have go and in the main clause we have go. So, what about this one? If I, very simple present, if I go out tonight, I, in the future, right, I will, what? We need the verb, so I will go to the cinema, right? So, first, present, then future, will, right? So, I want you to complete these um, sentences. I'm going to do it until this one. Está la número 12. Okay, there you have it. So, there you have this. If you, there you have get, then be, right? So, I want you to work in these sentences, guys. And if you have questions, just raise your hand and I will help you, okay? So, work in those 12 sentences, okay? Vamos a llegar hasta el número 12, okay? Entonces, chicos, trabajen, utilicen the first conditional, tipo 1, ¿verdad? Para completar estas oraciones y... Usen los verbos que tienen entre paréntesis, ¿ok? So, work. You're going to have five minutes. Cinco minutos para que ustedes trabajen en ellas. Luego, les vamos a chequear todos juntos, espero todos puedan participar, ¿ok? So, work. Work, guys. So, guys, let's check the answers, right? So, there we have the number two. If you, there you have, if you what? Okay, Miss Tanya, if you are late, let's see. If you are late again, I will be angry. Mm -hmm. But in the case, Miss Tanya, you need to use the verb between parentheses. Get. La segunda oración sí está bien. Pero la primera necesitamos utilizar el verbo que está entre paréntesis. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? If you, that is present, get, right? Get back late, I will be angry. Yes? So, Miss Sonia, simplemente corrija la primera, ¿verdad? 
If you get back late, I will be angry. Okay? Nice. What about the number three? If we, this is negative, no C, right? Which will be the answer here, guys? If we, what? Doesn't see. Okay, in that case, Karen, don't see. Because that is we, right? We don't see each other tomorrow. We, what? We? We will see. Excellent. We'll see each other next week. Perfect, Karen. So, if we don't see each other tomorrow, we will see each other next week. Perfect. Excellent. What about number four? If he... That is third person, right? He. If Home. he comes. Perfect. If he comes, I'll... What? Future? Will be. I will be surprised. Right? Excellent, Karen. What about five? If we... That is... Wait, that is the verb. If we, uh huh, another volunteer, Miss Wendy, Mr. Davy, Mr. Miguel, Emmanuel, Abigail, which could be the answer here? If we, what? Wait, uh huh. If we wait here, we what? We'll be late. Excellent. We'll be late. Perfect. So, if we wait here, we will be late. Excellent. Very good. What about six? Here you have go and go. Like the first one, right? So, if we... If we go, go. Oh. Yes, if we go on holiday this summer, we. This is easy, right? We'll go. Aha, uh -huh, we'll go to Spain. Right? Aha, we'll, uh -huh, we'll go to Spain. Acá, igual, si ustedes quieren hacerlo de la forma contractada, también pueden. Pueden hacerlo. We'll go. To Spain. En el caso de I, también, si lo quieren hacer de forma contractada, I'll be surprised. Right? That is almost the same. The short form, the long form. Excellent. What about seven? If the weather, that is negative, not improve. So if we talk about the weather, that will be what? Third person singular or not? So in this case, if the weather what? Uh -huh. If the weather doesn't improve. Excellent. Doesn't improve, right? We what? That is negative also. We won't have a picnic. Except won't, right? We won't have a picnic. Excellent. There is the needed for in future, right? So if the weather doesn't, because weather that is it, right? Third person singular. So doesn't improve. We won't have a picnic. Excellent. Very good. What about this one? Number eight. That is negative also, right? So if I'd, if I what? Don't go. Don't go. Perfect. Don't go to bed early. I will be tired tomorrow, right? So, if I don't go, remember, don't because of the subject. I, right? Go to bed early. I will be tired tomorrow. Excellent. Let's see number nine. If we what? 
very have it between parentheses, right? And that is simple present. So if we eat all this cake, we will feel sick. This is an easy one, right? If we eat all this cake, we will feel sick, right? Perfect. Let's see 10. Who wants to do the number 10? That is negative. If you, what? If you, yes? Don't want all. Don't. Let's see. If you don't want to go out, I. That is future, right? I will cook dinner at home. If you don't want to go out, I will cook dinner at home. Excellent. Let's see the 11. I. Come. Uh -huh. Comes. Comes? Come? Mm. I will. I will. Okay. Yes, in that case, I will. Primero tenemos la oración de el resultado. Entonces, I will, what? Come early. Vean, aquí comenzamos con la if clause, ¿verdad? Entonces, no necesitamos coma en este caso. If you, what? Want. ¿Qué pasó acá? Solamente cambiamos el resultado primero, luego la condicional. So, I will come early if you want. Excellent. Let's see the number 12. How will it be? They, okay, let's see. Miss Tanya, they don't go. Let's see, they don't go to the party if they will be invited. Okay. Mm. There is like a little mistake there, eh, Miss Tania. Recuerden, la if clause que dijimos siempre va a ir con presente simple. Y la main clause siempre va a utilizar el futuro. Entonces, en este caso tenemos primero el resultado de nuevo, ¿verdad? Entonces, if, no, if, they will go to the party if they <coughs> are invited, right? De esta forma nos quedaría, Miss Tania, vean. Primero tenemos la main clause o el resultado y en este caso vamos a utilizar will, el futuro. Luego tenemos la if clause, en este caso tenemos el verbo be, ¿verdad? Entonces, como estamos utilizando they, cambiamos a are. If they are invited. Nosotros, o sea, ellos podrían ir a la fiesta si ellos están invitados. ¿Ok? So, you can switch, right? The main clause with the if clause if you want. ¿Ok? So, perfect guys. I don't know if you have questions. If you don't have questions at all, let's do the other example or the other extra. Here you have an example first. I'll play with you. Help housework you as long as me, the, and with. So first you have what? The result. Then you need to write down in this case the if clause. If you remember, si ustedes se recuerdan, cuando estuvimos estudiando la zero conditional, también habían otras palabras que podían sustituir o podían utilizarse, ¿verdad? En vez del if, tenemos en este caso as long as, in case, unless. Eh, went, si ustedes también se acuerdan que podíamos utilizar went 
¿verdad? Entonces también, pero, por ejemplo, I'll play with you as long as you hold me with the housework. Or you can say, I play with you if you hold me with the housework. This is almost the same. You can use if if you want it, right? So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a utilizar las palabras que tenemos acá, ¿verdad? En desorden para formar la otra oración. Pueda que sea el resultado, la main clause, o pueda que sea la condicionante, en este caso la if clause, la que usted necesita formar. ¿Ok? So, Abigail is going to be the first one. Karen. Mr. Miguel Cuellar. Miss Wendy. Mr. Davy. I guess Mr. Werner left the class. So, Miss Tania. Emmanuel. And. Oh, Kenya. You are there, right? So, Kenya. Um, there are other things in here. Mm, let's see. Miss Wendy. And. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, I just want you to work on those sentences. I was. Um, okay. I guess. Se ve pequeñito, pero igual ustedes pueden hacerles una y en su celular. Ok, chicos, trabajen. Cada quien tiene su oración, pero igual, todos vamos a revisar las oraciones juntos, ¿verdad? Entonces, recuerden, utilicen las palabras que tienen ahí entre paréntesis, ya sea para formar la main clause o para formar la if clause. ¿Ok? So... Work. Recuerden, en algunas oraciones también ustedes van a tener otras palabras que pueden sustituir al if. Si usted gusta, coloca el if o la palabra que usted tiene ahí. ¿Ok? So, work. If you have questions, please raise your hand and I will help you. ¿Ok? So, work, guys. Ok, guys, let's check the answers. What about the number... Number one, Abby. Let's check the number one. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, number one. Will you tell me if you go out? Perfect. If you go out. Excellent. So, will you tell me if you go out? Perfect. So, first you have what? No result. This is a question, right? Then the if clause or the condition perfect very good Abby thank you what about the number two Karen the number two is that? if Sarah not reply to my email I will phone her okay just check that one Karen if Sarah in this case you need to use doesn't Remember, there is third person singular, so replayed, right, to my email, right, comma, aquí está, igual, comma, right, we're going to write down this, comma, I'll find her. So, first you have the if clause with simple present, then you're going to have the, the result in this case with the future so excellent Karen thank you what about this one Mr. Miguel what about this one first you have to write down the if clause yes if if on by simple lamb the planet Okay. Uh -huh. will catch the thing of 
goblok Hai Oke So, in that case, Mr. Miguel Tenemos esta palabra, ¿verdad? Suppose Pero si ustedes gustan, pueden utilizar sí. If, ¿verdad? Entonces, nos puede quedar de esta forma Supposed, right? Si usted utiliza eso, suppose the plane, right? Lands on time, right? Coma, there you have the coma. Will catch the 10 o'clock train, right? Or you can write down if. Si usted gusta igual, puede utilizar if. If the plane lands on time, We'll catch the 10 o'clock train. Okay? So there you have the, the answer, Mr. Miguel. If you want to use suppose or if, it's almost the same, right? So, thank you, Mr. Miguel. Thank you. What about this one? Uh, nice. Uh, Miss Wendy, nobody. Nobody will believe you always unless you tell the truth. Right? Unless you always tell the truth. Right? Perfect. So, nobody will believe you unless you always tell the truth. Right? Or even if, if you want it. Right? That's same, right? So, let's see. The other one, Mr. Davy. Okay, teacher. Okay. If everybody come to the party, mm -hmm. how many trains will be near? Okay. If everybody, in that case, you need to say comes. There is for person everybody comes to the party how many chairs will we need right so also you can use if we want providing providing everybody comes to the party comma don't forget here the comma ahí está pero están chiquitos así que la vamos a poner en rojo how many chairs will we Need, right? Excellent, Mr. David. Thank you. What about this one, Miss Tanya? Do you have the answer? Yes. Okay. Okay. You can drive my car on the condition that you don't. Oh, that you don't drive fast. Okay. Very good, Miss Tanya. So in this case, this is a little bit different, right? So you can drive my car. Because this is like zero condition, right? Condition that you don't drive fast, right? Don't drive fast. Excellent. So, okay, you can drive my car on condition or if you don't drive fast. Also, you can use if you want it, right? Uh, don't, don't drive fast. I guess this is like a zero condition, all right? You have first present, that is can drive, right? And then you have present again. If don't drive fast, right? So, perfect, Miss Anya. Thank you. What about this one, Emmanuel? If we be late for the meeting. Mm -hmm. If we, in that case, Emmanuel, if we are late for the meeting, right? There you have the comma there. Well, let you know, right? So first, if we are late, for the meeting, we'll let you know there is the future, right? So here we have the if clause, right? So in this case, if we are 
late for the meeting will let you know okay so excellent Emmanuel thank you what about this one Kenya I'll take my credit card uh, um, if in cash no uh, if I am cash room up cash out Okay, let's try to fix it a little bit. So, I'll take my credit card. You can say, in case, right? I run out of cash, right? Or you can say, I'll take my credit card if, right? If I run out of cash, right? That will be the answer there. Okay, Kenya, so try to fix it. Thank you. Very good, Kenya. What about this one? Okay, Miss Wendy. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Your phone will get stolen unless careful you be. Okay, unless you can write it. Unless. What? You are careful. Okay, so there you have your pores will go stolen unless you, my god, that is my mistake, you are careful. Okay, so <clears throat> what about the last one, Karen? Thank you, Miss Wendy. Excellent. What about this one, Karen? The last one. What will you do if Peter not be in this office? Peter, um, in that case, you can use the verb be like isn't or is not, right? So, what will you do if, oh, sorry, I made a mistake, Peter, right, isn't, where? In his office, right? So, what will you do if Peter isn't in his office, right? Recuerden que el verbo be también puede utilizarse como el to be, ¿verdad? Is, are, um, también la forma negativa, isn't or is not, are, not or aren't or I am not, okay? So, what will you do if Peter isn't? in his office so great perfect care and excellent so guys there you have um first condition sentences i don't know if you have any questions comments or is it clear for you i guess we need to continue doing some exercise uh, about first conditional but we're going to continue with those exercises next class, right? So, ¿no tienen preguntas sobre la first conditional tipo 1? ¿Todo está claro? No question, teacher. Excellent, Mr. David. Perfect. So, guys, we're going to continue with the class on Thursday, right? So, um, solo... Creo que hay algunos que aún no han hecho el examen, así que recuerden que ahora es el último día de entrega, ¿ok? Así que si no lo han hecho, vayan al sitio y realicen el examen, ¿ok? So guys, that's all for today. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye. Bye teacher. Bye bye. Bye teacher. Bye, 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 b